Unveiling the Truth, The Power of a Confession of Guilt Hello, and welcome! Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that you might have heard in movies, news, or read in books. Confession of Guilt Understanding this phrase not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insight into legal and moral discussions. Let's unfold the layers behind this powerful expression and see how it's used in both everyday and formal English. A confession of guilt refers to the act of admitting responsibility for a wrongdoing or a crime. When someone confesses their guilt, they are acknowledging that they have done something wrong. This confession can be made in various contexts, including legal settings, personal relationships, or public statements. The phrase is composed of two key parts. Confession, this word signifies the act of admitting something that one might have kept hidden. It involves revealing a truth about oneself, especially about something wrong or harmful that they've done. Guilt, this refers to the feeling or acknowledgement of having done something wrong, especially in terms of violating a law or moral standard. In legal contexts, a confession of guilt is a critical aspect. It can serve as a significant piece of evidence in a court case and might lead to the resolution of legal proceedings. However, it's essential to understand that legal systems across the world handle confessions differently, ensuring that they are made voluntarily and with a full understanding of the implications. On a moral level, confessing to a wrongdoing can be seen as a step towards redemption or healing. It's a way of taking responsibility for one's actions and seeking forgiveness from those affected. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase can be used in both formal and informal contexts. Formal, the defendant's confession of guilt was a turning point in the trial. Informal, after years of silence, he finally made a confession of guilt to his family about his actions. These examples show that the phrase can be adapted to different situations, highlighting its versatility in the English language. Understanding the phrase, confession of guilt, allows you to navigate complex discussions about responsibility, law, and morality. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and adds a valuable layer to your English language skills. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and meanings behind them. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to our next linguistic journey together.